Hello and welcome to Cosmos with Bailey. I'm Bailey and I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium and spiritual healer based in New Zealand. Welcome. Okay, so today's video is going to be on how to tell if an intuitive or guide has a compromised channel. There are two reasons as to why an intuitive or a healer would have a compromised channel. Number one, they're in their ego. <laughs> they haven't done a certain amount of clearing and healing, um, most likely to do with the inner child and teens and all, all sorts of stuff um, that hasn't been done and they've just gone straight into intuitive or healing work without first actually being spiritually initiated or trained to do said work. And then another reason why an intuitive or a guy would have a compromised channel is because there is some type of entity attachment or they are channeling from the astral realms and that is a case of not being trained within the realms and realities of the earth. Alright, so <laughs> I've had so I've had quite a few experiences and it's taken me um, a while to sort of navigate this myself. And um, this is just gonna be like a really practical common sense way to discern if someone has got a compromised channel. <sighs> okay, so first and foremost, um, what will happen, or if it, it'll be ego, or it'll be an entity attachment. It'll be one of those two, uh, most likely. So what happens is that they do not respect your beliefs, and they get very, very triggered when you don't adhere to what they're saying. Or there's not, none of that sort of that round table openness and receptivity into what interaction you're having with this person. It's very rigid. It's very, you need to do this because I said so. And it, it's and if they are triggered by you or your energy or something you've said, and, um, instead of not being spiritually mature, they will respond from a place of triggering not thank you very much for your insight, but I'm not really aligning with that. You know, there's a very big difference from the spirit saying, oh, I don't really think that's for me, as opposed to someone getting really triggered and then trying to force you into doing something that you know is not for you. Um, yeah, and, and they want you to do things on their terms. There's no openness. Again, there's no round table discussion of what's happening and coming to an informed conclusion together. Um, if you don't align with your beliefs, then you are not right and I am removing you from this and that um, and X, Y, Z. Um, and if you weren't right for that intuitive group or, or whatever it was, they would say, I don't think I'm the right person for you. They wouldn't try and make it about you. They would be coming from the heart and soul. So you've got triggered it, triggering, lack of clarity and maturity, confusion, and, and also separation. So there's a separation. You're not seeing you as a soul and your energy. They're seeing you through the filters of their triggering or their ego or the entity attachment. There's no clarity. Usually when an intuitive is really, really good at what they do, they can see you for what you are and then help you embody more of that. They can see you for who you truly are and they will work to get you more embodied in your spirit power. So you can't do that when there is triggering or ego involved. They cannot see you clearly and they do not have the ability to see and empower you clearly. Also, the idea of separation, darkness versus light. I would be very, very mindful of any one intuitive channel or oracle talking about the idea of darkness versus light. We are evolving out of the idea of darkness versus light. <laughs> and um, usually when you're super embodied in the soul, uh, you don't need to peddle the separation idea of darkness versus light because you know that it's a, it's, um, a part of reality, but it is also a way of moving into more empowerment. Um, so if someone is talking and speaking on darkness versus light or that we need to save humanity or any of that type of stuff, they're not empowered in light. They're not fully empowered in light. 
When you're fully empowered in light, you know the darkness doesn't really have a say. And you can always evolve and expand out of darkness into more light. So as someone is talking about darkness versus light, and that's where their consciousness is sitting, they are not fully embodied in light. Um, and they don't understand true spiritual empowerment with light. In saying that also, I've seen very dissociated individuals use the idea of darkness versus light or the idea of love and light that fully understanding empowerment through disempowerment. Um, what will happen also if there's a compromised channel is that there'll be a very limited perspective and insight. They're not able to see the full bigger picture of things. They're not able to get full clarity, flow and ease for you. Um, you're going to leave feeling maybe a little bit iffy. You're going to leave feeling a little bit more confused or this, this feeling of mm, that didn't really help me. I wasn't aligned with that message and I felt like that person didn't know what they were talking about. So if you get feelings like that and you're gone to an intuitive or you're watching a video online, that's your common sense discernment telling you that that information was not for you and your spirit. Yeah, so limited perceptions and ideas, doesn't respect your wishes, isn't mature and respectful in their communications. It is a very, very, there's such a big sign of a compromised channel. Even if you know someone is a really good intuitive and something happens, um, and they're not really acting the way that they normally act, there could be a, some type of entity attachment um, or something going on that is um, taking them out of alignment with spirit and mature and respectable communications. Um, and usually what happens is they'll make it all about them. And they'll be coming from a very disempowering perspective. They won't be coming from an empowered state within. Um, and there'll be insistence, you need to do this instead of this, instead of saying things like, I highly recommend it, you should do this. But a, that a, a guide or an intuitive or a psychic won't get triggered if you don't go and do what they say because they know that you're your own best source of guidance. They can say, I highly recommend. Or you could do this. It's not going to be, you need to go and do this because blah, 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 blah. Guidance versus force. There is a big difference between loving, supportive guidance and then trying to get you to adhere to their belief, um, which is ego. <laughs> um, yeah, and you're not allowed any different beliefs to what they are teaching. Blind beliefs and also trying, or all be very careful of this one, if they're trying to enforce substances on you. I saw something online um, run by these two people and someone, the group took a bunch of substance and then they called upon some spirits and it looked to me like there was a demonic possession that took place. Um, if You should never ever have to ingest any substance to be spiritual. If you are going to any types of groupings or whatnot and people are telling you that you have to adhere to something or take something with them and you don't want to, you walk out. You 100% walk out of that grouping because that is compromised and um, it's and it, it that just sounds highly spiritually compromised um, if someone's trying to enforce a substance on you in the name of spirituality. Please, please get up and walk out of those types of situations because they're not spiritually safe. Um, yeah, won't respect your no thank you, um, and won't listen to your feedback for clarity. Uh, believing they know everything and everyone and what they're doing. Yeesh, that made me feel a little bit icky. Um, if there is substance abuse or substance of forcing going on, you walk out. You should never ever have to take a substance in a grouping in the name of spirituality if you do not want to. Um, yeah, that sounds like highly compromised. If there's forcing going on, if someone's not respecting your wishes, if you feel coerced into doing something, 
there is high levels of, yeah, high levels of coercion. Um, that sounds like ego or an entity attachment. Um, I would be very, very discerning with stuff like that. In the end, a guide should always be coming from the heart and the spirit. And a very good guide is here to empower you and more of this in your spirit self and get you empowered on your own two feet. Guides are not here to do the work for you. Guides are here as a simple helping hand along your spirit pathway. Um, they are not here to make you adhere to a certain belief. They are not here to make you compromise your values, your integrity, and your authenticity in the name of spirit. As someone is trying to coerce you into doing something that you have clearly stated you do not want to do, that is a big sign of a compromised channel and you are to walk away. <laughs> if you are in the middle of a session and you are feeling iffy like this person is not um, coming from the spirit and the heart, uh, you have you are within every single right to end the session and leave. Um, you should never, ever, ever feel like you have to put yourself in spiritually compromising situations for the benefit of someone else's ego or hurt feelings. Um, you should not be tolerating abuse of any kind in the name of spirituality and you should not be tolerating compromise and coercion into a belief system or way of being that does not suit who you are. You should be respected and um, there should be maturity and high levels of authenticity and respect for you and your spirit journey if you are ever working with an intuitive or psychic or healer. Oh, goodness me. I, uh, you really want to make sure that... Yeah, you've just got... Okay, I think I'm just going to leave that video there. That, that sounds like I've gotten through everything. Big things of lack of clarity, like, yeah, you're just looking for, yeah, I think that, yeah, there's definitely enough information. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that was helpful.